This is to introduce to you the Assessment 2 Design Proposal Brief and to also show you three examples of previous student design proposal submissions from the University campus of Swinburne. Sorry, I've got some background noise here. Let's begin. You'll see that we're launching today Design Proposal. What is the design proposal? The design proposal is effectively the detailed design ideas visualized to a professional degree that show your strategy to the Australian Red Cross. But it's effectively the implementation of your design strategy into a tangible visual form to present to the, the Australian Red Cross in order to woo them and to get them to select your work uh, and to implement your work in a real world situation. That would be ideal. Of course, along the way, receive a high distinction for your efforts. Last week, you completed a design strategy by presenting it to your peers for review. You also completed parts of assessment five. So this week, your team will begin the second major project for this unit, assessment two, design proposal. Having defined the problem, your design strategy, you will now seek innovative communication solutions to it, design proposal, in order to generate value for your client, the Australian Red Cross. You've really got to be across this brief and all the details. I'm going to skip through some of it now. In assessment one, design strategy, you worked as a team to develop a communication strategy for a design innovation in response to the Australian Red Cross brief. In this assessment, you will develop that strategy into a design proposal, including visual solutions and outcomes. So you're taking your recommendations and you're designing them up, but they're not actually being constructed. For example, you're not going to build the website that you might propose to the Australian Red Cross, the rebranded youth-based website. You are to create um, prototypes, mock-ups, visualizations. Your submission will demonstrate the clear, effective application of communication design principles and techniques, including project-specific criteria. So the assessment details, design and present an innovative communication design solution in order to improve youth engagement for the Australian Red Cross. So this is a list of the content that really should be in there. If you have variation to this, you are welcome to propose it to me. You'll see there's a note down here. To be flexible to address the specific requirements of each group project, any variation to the content above should be negotiated in consultation with me. For the most part, you'll all probably have to do each of these stages. Um, first stage, visualization. Develop a series of graphic images that show the context and demonstrate your design solution including a combination of illustration, photographic, and digital imaging. Part two, digital applications. Develop an interface design solution that includes a combination of mobile, touchscreen, and online media, as suits your proposal. Uh, approximately 20 screens in total include an internet solution, microsite, subsite, or website, 10 screens minimum, plus an app for a digital touchscreen device. The next component is a print literature component. You are to produce a multi-page document of 12 pages minimum that complements the digital apps and supports your solution. Use print as a communication channel with its own purpose and attributes, not just a representation of digital content. And then of course, there's also gonna be branding and advertising. You are to use marketing within your proposal as a means of identifying the design solution and communicating about it. So some of you have specifically proposed uh, you know, a rejig or um, a particular youth-based brand to be created. Um, and that's where this will obviously apply to you. All are going to look at some kind of rebranding or branding and advertising as part of the rollout of these campaigns, these design solutions. So what's a little bit flexible in here is probably the digital application version. You know, some of you may or may not have, um, um, you know, you might have specific um, ideas for your design proposal um, that vary slightly from the details here. That's why we've got this note that if you have something that's outside of this content requirement, just let me know. If we go in here to this link, Method Framework Innovating and Generating Value, you'll see um, we go back to this um, framework that's been used in the early part of the unit and we look here at what we're effectively doing with the design proposal. We're innovating well, you're going to be innovating and generating value for the Australian Red Cross. And then what we've, what we've done here is kind of outlined it as four tasks, which will take you the next six weeks to complete. But in general, the method that you're following here is one of um, seeking insight, 
um, you're seeking insight from your design, your prototyping, and testing. You know, you're coming up with ideas and aspects to focus on, what to leave in, what to take out. As part of the design proposal, each individual student is going to be given a specific chunk of work to do. You're going to decide what that is amongst you yourselves. And in the smaller teams, you're going to have to do more than one task. And ultimately, you're doing all that in order to generate value for the Australian Red Cross. You're choosing and activating a best solution, building awareness of the solution, and you're going to sell the solution with the presentation. And then ultimately, you're going to learn from the success or failure of that presentation. That's really what the next six weeks are about in a kind of a general manner. But what we've done here is we've kind of analysed that and broken it down into specific tasks. Task one, concept development. Develop a design proposal for an innovation that responds to the problem or opportunity identified in Assessment 1 design strategy. Based on insights from your research, findings, recommendations, your proposal should assist Australian Red Cross to accomplish the defined goals and objectives relating to youth engagement. Clarify your objectives. Start brainstorming and visualising ideas. And develop a design proposal all right, in, that uses and integrates different media into a unified design proposal. So you can't just stick to one media for this. You've got to have some kind of multimedia or integrated media or campaign idea. Task two, design development. Develop prototypes, mock-ups, and visualizations that demonstrate how your design proposal solves the design problem or opportunity. So you can use anything you like to demonstrate these ideas. You know, you can draw it, you can photograph it, you can manipulate it. Whatever you need to do to demonstrate your idea. Show what the solution looks like, including the role of community, volunteers, donors, members, youth, according to different age groups, whoever's involved. Which reminds me, some of you weren't particularly clear on your target audience or didn't come across in the documentation. You've got to really be clear on who your target audience is. You'll get really confused and you'll have weak solutions if you don't know who you're aiming at. Consider the viewing context and the communication and publication interfaces. Some of you did a really good job of that. The difference between your presentations, the screen presentation and your publications, in some cases, in a number of cases, was excellent. Well done. Individual. Each proposal should be made up of four primary types of outcome. Visualizations, digital applications, print literature, and branding and advertising. Each student should significantly, significantly develop one specific element or more, one or more. For example, Cara and Daniel, you have to do two each of the overall design proposal as their individual contribution to the group submission. Employ branding and advertising elements to identify and unify your design innovation and communicate its benefits to its intended audience. Integrated media display. Produce a client presentation of your design proposal. Use integrated media display, example, print, digital display techniques to communicate and demonstrate how your proposal resolves the problem or opportunity for the Australian Red Cross. Present the design proposal for a client-based context you know, week 12. It's going to be in the same way that we did it last time, right? It's going to be on, I um, can't remember the name of it. Anyway, that fancy Collaborate we used, which worked really well, I think. And it's going to be the same. It's going to be a screen presentation, and then it's going to be a publication to support that. Design and produce a print publication to support your presentation. Combine the design strategy and proposal into a single publication. Provide a summary of strategy, proposal, recommendations, and rationale for outcomes, including revised persona, scenario, and experience journey maps. So you've got to go back and you've got to revise your, your personas and your experience journey maps. Then you have to prepare, prepare and present your group work proposal outcomes to the Australian Red Cross and myself in week 12 probably the Wednesday and Thursday of February 8th and 9th. Now what you can see here, the screen-based presentation has again 20 to 30 screens, that's the same as your design strategy, but the publication is 32 pages in total, which includes a summary of strategy, proposal, recommendations and outcomes, 16 pages approximately. High quality PDFs, including a print mock-up CMYK. So, what this means here is that you are required to show a mock-up of a printed book. Now, as I said earlier, you can you can do that digitally. You can, you know, get a PDF and kind of composite onto a, a template, a photograph of another brochure and make it look like it's your printed document. That's fine. However, I highly recommend you all do printouts of both your screen presentation and your print publication as a way of going through a refinement process. But the other advantage to that is 
especially with the print publication, I've given some of you feedback in your design strategy that, you know, what was lacking is refinement. And what was, what I've been looking at those publications, I've been looking at them from the perspective that they were printed. So a couple of things came up. Some of you had odd page numbers. For example, you can't have a printed publication that isn't divisible by four in terms of page numbers. You can't have 31 pages in a print document. It's got to be either 32 or 28 or 24 or 20. You can't have 17 or 19. Test your body text. Print it out at full size and read it. It's the only way to really be sure. So you don't have to do a printout for submission. You do have to do a mock-up of a printout. But I highly recommend you print out for the sake of the design process itself. And what a great thing then to photograph and put into your capstone journal. So here's the, one of the ones that I've referred to in the Capstone Journal. Megan's work was also demonstrated in the Capstone Journal video. So have a look at that if you haven't already done so. Here's her team's presentation. Wonderfully simple. Oh. Look at that, a citation, wonderful. We propose to create a community circle. Let's bring isolated people into the circle. Fantastic logo, beautifully designed. And again, in Megan's um, journal, you can see all the iterations they went through, all the different versions of that logo. Really lovely to see. So I'm not gonna go through this in fine detail, but here's the customer experience currently. The revision now. So here's the old one, here's the new one. Again, these photographs were taken by the students um, in order to make their design proposal look great. Tablet interface, desktop interface, different aspects. You know, no text here, just visuals. But a really convincing set of print literature as well, interface design, signage. You really get a good sense of it. And then it goes into the possible outcomes, what they think will come from this. You know, conclusion. Really nicely done. Okay, now let's look at the publication. Flexible grid, consistent typographic styling, clear hierarchy, really excellent. Beautiful, big, colorful photograph to break you know, to break the rhythm, break the, um, the flow, the sequencing. Okay, number two, this is Bubble, this is the presentation. Original images, lovely illustrations. The bubble, the bubble is everywhere, all, all the time, yet in one place and represents the wholesome and inclusive nature of Burundura. Hello. So it's all about this community hub, this network, live chat, Homepage shows open discussions and forums, discussions, etc. Comprehensive, elegant, well designed, clear, informative publications or print components of the campaign, and then the advertising components of the campaign, and some mock ups of different um, outcomes, and then a sort of a summary. Now let's compare that to their, pres their publication. So this is their print publication. Really nice in line, lovely colours. Okay, so now let's look at the final one. Now this opens a little bit differently to the others, a really lovely logo and then it goes into a series of photographs which I believe are just of the existing signage. And here's their solution, their recommendations. But now they're taking the form of tangible design outcomes. And here you've got a really lovely idea, virtual reality navigation. And look at how simply that can be communicated.
Okay, now let's look at the um, print version of the same group. It's a nice cover, I love that. It's very similar to my personal logo. <laughs> Okay, so that's it. That's enough. Um, hopefully that's given you a really good idea of what's involved in the design proposal brief. There's a lot of work ahead of you now. Um, and as hard as you've worked up to date, I expect you're going to have to work at least as hard again for the next six weeks. So I hope you've had a good break. I'm so excited to see what you guys come up with so we can woo the Australian Red Cross with your splendorous clever innovations. And please send me any questions you want in the 